Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Are you setting up a new computer and need to transfer all your files? Or do you work in an office and need a quick way to share documents with colleagues on your local network? In this video, I'm going to show you the best tool you can use to transfer files between PCs incredibly fast, using nothing but a LAN cable. Let's go. Before, I used to back up my old computer's data to an external hard drive and then manually move it to my new PC. Luckily, I found a much smarter way that allows a direct data transfer between computers. Not only does this save a lot of time, but it also ensures that only the files, programs, and settings you want are moved, reducing the chance of losing data or having to set up everything from scratch. If you want to try it yourself, you can check out this software using my link below, which also gives you a free data transfer to get you started. To set up a direct transfer between computers, first install the software on both. After installation, make sure that both the computer sending the data and the one receiving the data are on the same network. But don't worry if your Wi-Fi is spotty, you can still use a direct cable connection. The software works with USB-C or Ethernet cables, which are often faster and more reliable. Next, confirm that the software has correctly identified which computer is the old PC and which is the new PC on each screen. From the target computer, click Transfer Directly and select Network if you're transferring wirelessly or Cable if you prefer a wired connection. Click the Connect button to start the connection. Once the two computers are connected, the software will start scanning your old device to see what data it contains. This scanning process might take a while, as it needs to find all the programs, files, and accounts on the computer. When it's done, you'll see a list of everything the software found grouped into categories like applications, files, and accounts. From here, all the remaining setup happens on your new computer. You can go through each category and choose which items you want to move to your new PC. Use the checkboxes next to each item to select them, or use the checkbox at the top to select everything in a category. Before you start the transfer, go to the migration settings where you can uncheck folders you don't want to move, or choose whether to replace, skip, or keep duplicate files. After you've set everything up, click the transfer button to begin moving the data. If you're using a slow network connection, the connection may drop a few times. In this case, switching between Wi-Fi and a wired connection will automatically reconnect it. When the transfer is complete, your target computer's dashboard displays a complete list of migration logs for reference. Be sure to restart your new computer so that everything updates correctly. Now, let's see if the selected data is moved. All right, the files are now in the correct folders, and the account I selected was successfully added to my new computer. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.